Morning, morning, how are you? Okay, so this is my first um, meal of the day. Now, everyone that's seen the videos before will know that I'm pretty boring with my food section. I always keep it the same, just because it's convenient for me and I prefer it that way and I actually enjoy the food. That's, that's one of the main things. So breakfast is always gonna be the same pretty much, unless I'm on holiday or unless I'm out, then obviously, you know, it may be different. So I'm cutting at the moment, so the portion sizes are less. Start my day. This is my pre. Remember, this is my pre-workout meal. So this is what I eat. I eat this meal. I wait an hour, then I go to the gym. So I've got two whole eggs with eight egg whites. I've got ninety gram of oats with thirty-five grams of raisins. I do weigh them out. I mean, I'm cutting, so I'm trying to make sure I know everything that goes in and out of my body. And I have one crumpet with tea because it's an English tradition. And I'm not going to give that up. I'm not going to give up my cultural English values for a stupid pursuit like getting cut in aesthetic. Um, I have some tomato ketchup, tomato, tomato, tomato ketchup on my um, eggs. I go for this 50% um, less sugar. To be honest, you can't notice a difference between that and normal ketchup. So that's why I opt for it. Because at the end of the day, um, you're saving on calories and there's no taste difference in taste. Another thing I do is because the carbohydrates are dropping week by week, I use fine sea salt, not those um, coarse sea salt because it feels like you're chewing on rock. I use fine sea salt on all my meals, including my oats, because it helps keep the muscles fuller, it gives you a better pump. Believe me now, it's a real, real key secret to keeping strong and looking fuller when you're um, dieting. Now, I'm telling you guys this, right? These Whitworths juice locked raisins are the best raisins in my opinion that you can buy i've never tasted any raisins as good as them they taste fresh they are moist and they um are full of flavor they really really are so i've seen them in all supermarkets so i highly recommend these they don't a lot a lot of the um, value ones just taste very dry and um the porridge that i'm using at the moment is again jordan's a lot of people who i talk to who are having more than say 50 gram of oats in a, in a sitting, are like, God, it tastes horrible, it's so thick, it doesn't, um, you know, it's got, it doesn't, it doesn't, they don't like it, they feel sick eating it. You won't find that with Jordan, I promise you. With Jordan's um, oats, they're huge oats, and um, they just soak up the water in a different ways, they're very moist, and they're very flavoursome. So give that a try, believe me now, you will not be disappointed. So I'm gonna eat this, then I'll, after an hour, I will have my pre-workout, um, supplements and my prepare my intro workout shake and then we go from real okay now time to get my pre-workout down and it's looking like i'm in some sort of what are you doing this looks like some sort of lab with loads of pots and you're some sort of scientist it's not really that hard these are the only supplements i take so i don't take protein powders or anything else i do believe in these supplements i enjoy taking them during my workout because I don't train the typical bodybuilding thing, which is one body part at a time. I do a push-pull leg split or upper body, lower body. So it's a lot of muscles um, to train in one go. And I just feel it helps a bit. It just helps a little bit. I'll be honest with you. I don't think it gives me extra gains, but I think it makes me feel better. And to be honest with you, if that's, if, you know, feeling better is going to allow me to push harder, so I'll, I will implement it. So I'll sh go through it. So this is, I'll first show you my intra workout shake and supplements I use. I use intra amino BCAs and this is actually um, the green apple flavor made by, I believe, oh, Adapt Nutrition. It's absolutely fantastic product. Now I know a lot of people say our BCAs don't have, um, have been proven they don't do any difference. This has a full um, EAA profile as well. So like I said, and to be honest with you, I would have it just for taste anyway. So I put one scoop in there, which is about 15 grams. Then I go to um, creatine. I use Crea Pure by Reflex Nutrition because it's the cheapest and it's good quality. I take two scoops, which is about 10 grams, I think. And creatine, you don't, I don't really need to go into that. The research is there, it works, it helps. Keeps you looking fuller, keeps you a bit stronger. That combined with the steroids does help. Rolls that up. Let me 
me close your little piece now for you. Nice and nice and easy, boy. Put it away. Put these tubs away. That's what my mum used to say when she lived with her. You dirty boy, messing up the kitchen. Put your fucking tubs away, you little rascal. My mum's not actually um of Jamaican descent, so I don't know why she. Was, I don't even know why she was talking like that. I have two scoops of Raging Full. This is the intra-workout carb. It's very, very easy on the old stomach. No gurgling in your belly. No deli belly, none of that. Let me just drizzle it down a little piece. And this is a very good product. Like I said, it really helps with pumps. It really helps keep you, it makes you look really full actually when you train. And when you're dieting, I know some people will say, oh, you're not dieting on the food you're eating. Yeah, but I'm in a caloric, caloric, caloric deficit. Well, how do you know? Because I'm losing weight. Yeah, but you shouldn't be flat. Yeah, well, I am going to be flatter than normal. You know, I'm not flat, but I'm flatter than normal. So, so that. My advice, this is, as you can see, I've got one of those um big penises. No, I've got one of those big um jugs. Karen, not really. I'm cheap. This costs 30p. It doesn't take a lot to mix up. And that's the intro workout done. So now we'll look at the um, pre-workout, what I'm using and I absolutely love is this Vax Vascu Max version two. I believe version three's out now. And there's no fucking around with this because the um, ingredient profile is on the back and as you can see, really well dosed. Agmatine sulfate in there. It's got your glycer glycine in there. And it's got a little bit of carbs. And it's got some, I like a big old, I will get me a big old scoop of this. This flavor as well is really nice. It's sweet garden candy. Tastes like a lady. Tastes like a lady on a sweet summer's night. Doesn't really, just tastes like cotton candy. And I'll mix it up in a bit of water. So that is my pre-workout. That's my intro. Those supplements I use, I'll go to the gym and then you'll see me after that and my next meal. Okay, my um, post-workout meal, which I, against the advice of science and against the advice of the internet, I don't usually have my post-workout meal to two or three hours later after training. Why? Because that just fits with my digestion. It's just how I um, feel best. And I don't, I haven't actually noticed a difference by forcing food down my mouth straight after I've worked out versus having a bit of a break and then eating. So I just do that way. Post-workout meal at the moment consists of 250 gram of turkey. Now the reason I use turkey breast versus chicken breast is because I find the flavoring sticks to the turkey breast better. It seems to soak it up more. And it's not, like a lot of people think turkey breast is gonna be dry, it's really not. Not if you cook it um, slowly, so it locks in the moisture and everything. It doesn't, it's not overly dry at all. And I have with this 100 grams of rice, dry weight. Now what I mean by that, because people seem so confused, like, oh, what do you mean uncooked weight? I weigh the rice out before I cook it. So it's 100 grams uncooked weight, I weigh that out, then I cook it. Because I think rice tastes better fresh. And with that I have a, if you see any of my Facebook posts, I'm into the pink lady apples. On top of that, I have this Nando's peri-peri sauce. Hardly any calories in there, a lot of sodium and good taste. Again, I have sodium, so not only do I have that, I have sea salt on my meal. Because I believe in high sodium, I think it helps again with your strength, with your look, and just keeps you, um, especially with the cardio that I'm doing and the MMA that I'm doing, you know, it stops me depleting my body and my muscles really. So that's my meal there. Have that and then on to the next one. Okay guys, so I'm gonna take you through meal three and this is what, what I'm gonna eat right now. To start with, I've got two whole free range, organic, gluten free, just amazing miracle eggs. Miracle eggs, yeah. These chickens, they, they, um, they live, you know, they're living a good free life and they're just enjoying each other. They have, they may occasionally and drop some eggs and the farmer picks them up, puts them in the supermarket. I have that with a bit of tomato ketchup, with a bit of pepper on top. And then I have 250 grams of white fish. You're probably thinking to yourself, that's not white. You um, got problems seeing, mate. I actually garnish it with Schwartz German fish seasoning, lemon and dill. 
it's not the most extravagant thing, but it adds a little bit of flavour. It's like you're going out. You don't want to, you know, you don't want to look overly dressed, but you, you want to look good. You want to look good. So you're going to go for something slightly hugging, something that shows off your curves a bit, but you're not going to be too suggestive because you're not out-out. On top of that, I have um, mustard and, again, the 50% less sugar tomato ketchup. You're probably wondering why have I combined those two? Because, to be honest with you, I do not um, believe in having prejudices in the condiment world. I'm mixing the two. I want to see free roaming off these condiments all over my plate. Good sodium content, good flavour content. Probably thinking with all this salt that my blood pressure is high. Actually, it isn't. It's actually low normal. So, coming on to the carbohydrate portion of the meal. I know these don't go together. You're probably thinking these are not what we call matching foods. But then again, I don't even wear matching socks. So, you have to bear with me. Here, I've... um got some oats in the morning I use the Jordan oats but in the afternoon I like to treat myself a little bit different I go for these Flavahan's Irish quick oats these are very good because if you're only having a small amount a small portion and you want it to be a bit more filling these soak up a lot of water there's 70 grams here and they um are good for giving you a lot of volume in your food I'm gonna add some salt in there and what I go for with that is a seven inch banana. Seven inches, you say. Seven inches is not too much and it's not too little. It's just feeling it's just right. It's going to leave me feeling satisfied afterwards. You're probably seeing brown spots on there and you're probably thinking, oh, that's no good. Racist. Please, can you delete yourself off my um, social media? Because I welcome brown bananas. I welcome them into this house. There's nothing wrong with a brown banana. It's perfectly fine. I have it on my oats. And that's my meal. Here's meal four. So this is actually like a pre-workout for my, because after this, about an hour after this, I go and do my MMA, which at the moment is two to three times a week. And tonight is, obviously MMA is, you don't do everything in one go. So we have separate days for different things. I'm gonna try and get a little bit of footage and put it in here, but today's we'll be focusing on striking. So it's pretty intense. It's pretty intense for about an hour and a half. And um, this will be the meal that I have beforehand which is 250 grams that's after cooking it um beef very lean beef i buy the um beef diced up and then i cut it again so like it's very easy to cook with around 100 grams of sweet potato again salted with um tomato ketchup and some mustard on i, I, I like that flavor and combination i use a bit of cajun seasoning on the beef which makes it taste good. I put a bit of Cajun seasoning on top of the sweet potato as well, so it cooks in well. Then I have th then I have this. I rest for about an hour, go off, off to train, and then come back around midnight, and that's when I'll have my last meal of the day, which is a very small dessert type meal, and that just makes up my day. So I'm gonna go eat this, go train, and then afterwards we'll have a look at my meal. Okay, so my last meal. Just got back from MA. I've got to talk a bit quietly because that um. The cats are asleep and they got work in the morning. So I've got 250 grams of Greek yogurt and 150 grams of fresh cut strawberries. And that is my meal. And that wraps up my day. This is pretty much what I have um, after doing my MMA and a whole bunch of water to just rehydrate myself. And this small meal, because I don't really feel hungry to be honest, because it's so much, um, it's so exhausting that Believe it or not, I don't actually feel hungry because we're doing so much work. All I want is to um, rehydrate myself in something small. I'll opt for this because obviously Greek yogurt is a slow digesting protein. So it should last me a good few hours and then I get up in the morning and do some cardio. So there we go.